Hello everyone. Under normal circumstances, this would be graduation week at the University of Aberdeen for summer 2021. We'd all be wearing our gowns and caps and you'd walk across the stage for me to doff you on the head to mark the fact that this is your special day. You've achieved your degree and we'd all be celebrating your success. Of course, under the current circumstances, it's still not possible to have our graduation ceremonies in the normal way. But we all still have a right to celebrate what our students have achieved. In fact, your achievement under these extraordinary circumstances is especially praiseworthy. All our students have shown amazing resilience and perseverance, despite these difficulties, to achieve outstanding academic success. So today I'm delighted to congratulate you on that success. The whole university community is very proud of the academic qualification that you've gained. We're planning to celebrate your achievements in person when circumstances allow. So we hope to see you again with your friends and family in Aberdeen. Thank you for all the work you've done and all the contributions that you've made while you've been a student here with us at the university. A very big well done from all of us here. On behalf of all University of Aberdeen graduates around the world, a very warm welcome to you, the extraordinary class of 2021, to the global alumni family. I can only imagine how challenging it has been for you to finish your studies and graduate in the midst of a global pandemic. But I want you to know just how proud the Aberdeen alumni family is of you and how excited we are to see what you will go on to achieve. Now that you are a member of the alumni family, I encourage you to stay in touch with the university, take advantage of the benefits, the enormous benefits of being an Aberdeen alumni brings you. Make sure you are signed up to the email list, connected on social media, and get involved with any local group, uh, groups or chapters in your area. This is a lifelong network that will serve you well in the years to come. Finally, on behalf of all your fellow Aberdeen alumni, I want to say a huge congratulations. Well done. To complete your studies and graduate under such challenging circumstances is an incredible achievement, and you should be very proud indeed. I'm sure you will be celebrating with friends and family to the extent that you can, and rightly so. Congratulations, class of 2021. really honoured to welcome you to the graduation for the degrees that are about to be bestowed upon you from the historic University of Aberdeen, but also on a personal level as you're about to graduate from my hometown university. Unfortunately for public health reasons, we are not able to gather at the beautiful and historic Elphinstone Hall and instead the ceremony must be conducted remotely. However, I would also like to welcome any of your families and friends who may have also joined us electronically as we celebrate the achievement of our soon-to-be graduates. The years 2020 and 2021, during which you've been in your senior honours year, are ones which none of us are likely to forget quickly, as we have all adjusted to our new reality of living our lives under various constraints and via video screens. Furthermore, you have all been to be further commended for concluding your degrees electronically, with I'm sure many of the new IT skills which you've all had to learn over the last 18 months being important as you move to the next stage of your careers. Moreover, the modern technology which we have all become reliant on has made the world even smaller despite the difficulties which we currently face with international travel. We may presently be living through a global health crisis, but during its long history, the University of Aberdeen has survived numerous international pandemics, including the sweating sickness of the late 15th century that affected the UK and Europe, the flu pandemic of 1889 to 1890, 
and the Spanish flu of 1918 to 1920. Additionally, the university survived numerous other international events, including global wars, and it also survived the 1964 Arun typhoid outbreak, which saw the city face local restrictions. Not to downplay the significance of these events or the subsequent suffering, but not only did the University of Aberdeen survive these events, it continued to be internationally recognised with, amongst others, Frederick Soddy, Professor of Chemistry from 1914 to 1919, winning the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1921, and J.J.R. McLeod winning the Nobel Prize in 1923 for discovering insulin. Additionally, throughout its history, the university has continued to produce world-renowned graduates, including James Blair, who is a clergyman and founder of the College of William and Mary in Williamsburg in Virginia, in the United States. J.G.R. McLeod, who I've already spoken about. Baroness Tessa Jowell, the former Labour Member of Parliament and First Minister of Public Health, amongst others, and Dame Sue Black, the leading forensic anthropologist, who is not only a best-selling author, but has also made advancements in forensic techniques, thus modernising policing. What the university's history has shown us concerning the present global pandemic is that everything passes and this will pass. While graduates from the University of Aberdeen continue to excel in their future careers, and I'm sure that none of you will be any different. Consequently, the year 2021, regardless of the disruption under which you are presently living, will always be an important year for you each personally as you graduate from this historic university. Moreover, the year 2021 will also be a significant year for your families, other loved ones and friends who have also joined us remotely today. There's someone who cares for you with their support being evident in many different forms, words of encouragement, financial help, someone who's there to listen when perhaps things weren't going as smoothly as you wished, and in countless other practical acts of kindness. All their support was given with love, pride, and great belief in you. So graduates, as your name is read out today, please also think of them. Very shortly, you're about to become both a member of the University of Aberdeen's alumni, which I detailed earlier, and also part of the university's long history. We may be celebrating your successes remotely, but we're very proud of your achievements and speaking on behalf of both my colleagues within the School of Social Science and also out with, we congratulate you on the successful completion of your degrees. Moreover, um, as we wish you success and good health in the next stages of your career, on a personal level, I would like to congratulate you all individually. Doctor of Philosophy Joya Barnbrook, João Canto Lohercio, Stephanie Garrison, Anna Kuprian, Master of Science in International Relations, Bellowith Edom, Ron Evans, Golam Mahmoud, Germain Twum, Strategic Studies, Ross Donaghy, Darina Falkina, Patrick Svirinsky, Strategic Studies and Management, Abdullah Al Mamun, Yakia Sultana, Honours Degrees, Anthropology Single Honours, Esme Andrews, Helen Balfour, Andrea Chieli, Emily Kelmer, Sabina McGovern, Lily Machen, Ashley Mora, Elodie Pereira, Andrea Piloni, Emily Reed, Natasha Sam Moorton, Jacob Scott, Stefano Sicha. Joint degree in Anthropology, Film and Visual Culture. Claudia Cawthorn, Joint Degree Anthropology and Geography, Rudy Chalucho, Virginia Suarez Erland, Joint Degree in Anthropology and Hispanic Studies, Natalia Grankowska, Joint Degree in Anthropology and History, Tik Man Ko, Joint Degree in Anthropology and International Relations, Georgia Beaton, Pierce Designy, Elise Grand Lee, Maisie Northing, Maura Scott. A joint degree in Anthropology and Philosophy. Avin McLeod, Vera Sistermans. Joint degree in Anthropology and Politics. 
Alana Stevenson, joint degree in anthropology and psychology, ha Helena Kantorska, Catherine Neal, George Wade, joint degree in anthropology and sociology, Pamela Albertini, Elisa Eirola, Sophie Fords, Lina Forsberg, Matthew Kerr, Summer Little, Katerina Villemova, a joint degree in international relations and language and linguistics, Jason Gold, Shani Eve Price, Elisa Seda, joint degree in international relations and legal studies, Francesca Coburn, Diana Hernando de la Fuente, Gaia Jano, Vera Salo. Joint degree in international relations and sociology, Luana Ackerman, Elle Anderson, James Anderson, Jordan Burns, Lucia del Rio Amor, Sam Harkins, Lawrence Starling, Luke Strachan. Interna joint degree in international relations and Spanish and Latin American studies, Melissa Bigdeli. Joint degree in international relations and theolo theo theology and religious studies, Neve Stolvort. Uh, single honors in politics and international relations, Jonathan of Hellström, Matthew Angel, Storm Austin, Carolina Badarova, Isla Baxter, Rosie Benny, Hannah Blanchfield, Jorma Blank, Hannah Bryden, Elsa Campbell, Christopher Carey, Melisande Cathalas, Jacob Cunningham Bell, and Andrew Davidson, Kira Devney, Umu Diallo, Pavel Dostalik, Alexander Douglas, Jessica Edimi, Claire Filer, Edward Flynn, Theo Forbes, Natalie Forrest, Alexander Fraser, Robert Gallagher, Vanya Georgieva, Jack Gillis, Fergus Hallward, Iona Hancock, Magnus Hergeni, Ailey Hunter, Lucas Jackson, Mera Joshi, Theodoros Kalitsas, Kaloyan Kamenov, Andrew Lawrence, Rosora Lloyd, Matthew McCulloch, Gavin McKenzie, Shona McKenzie, Finley McClay, Mustafa Mabruk, James Marku, Sarah Marcus, Chloe Martin, Stefan Mashford, Ella Masri, Aidan Mitchell, Daniel Moore, Cal Callum Nelson, Victoria Orlado, Ely Page, Paul Patterson, Jamie Pipe, Christopher Robinson, Samantha Rollo, Eric Rosliaev, Caitlin Ross, Serena Rossi, Ellie Seppenen, Jack Sinclair, Totti Sivonen, Drew Casey Snow, Chloe Stephen, Ailey Margaret Stewart, Ailey Alexandra Stewart, Catherine Sugden, Rebecca Swanson, Sara Marie Thomas, Christina Travi, Joseph Walker, James White, Beth Whitaker. Joint degree in politics and sociology. Lucy Clarkson, Blair Fulton, Greg Ingram, Chloe Johnston, Emily Kennedy, Katie Mundy, Stevie Petri, Catherine Reed. Single honors in sociology. 
Victoria Barvinko, Lisa Chalmers, Liam Dodds, Ellen Gardner, Abby Geddes, Dora Gottman, Serena Evelyn Jenica, Kirsty McDonald, Lara Mertes, Ronan Molloy, Emma Morrison, Leah Robb, Erin Scott, Rowan Smith, Caitlin Souter. Hello everybody. Uh, I just wanted to add a few words of congratulations uh, on your graduation. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm uh, Dr. Stuart Durkin, a senior lecturer in politics and international relations, and I'm also the director of education in the School of Social Science. I know uh, the last uh, couple of academic years uh, haven't gone the way a lot of you would have wished, uh, and I include myself in that and other members of staff. Um, and we've had a lot to deal with along along the way. Um, but I, for one, have been very, very impressed with the work uh, that students uh, in my courses and elsewhere have produced in the last couple of academic years, particularly under the circumstances of the pandemic. During the course of the pandemic, we've also heard a lot spoken about the impact that uh, the, the crisis has had on students and uh, their mental health. And not wishing to uh, downplay that in any way, I want to speak about the resilience which I've also seen students um, exhibit. I've been really impressed with the way in which students have been able to pull together, um, work together, and under these circumstances, to continue to produce work of a consistently really high quality. So I think as well as um, congratulating you on your um, graduation and on your degree success, uh, I'd also like to say you've all proven to be very, very resilient uh, people. And that's the way in which you should approach the future with uh, as resilient uh, graduates of the University of Aberdeen. Though uh, none of us would have uh, wished to see uh, the pandemic, um, it's also likely to um, bring the prospect of a lot of new opportunities in the post-pandemic scenario. Uh, there's likely to be job opportunities, um, the likes of which we may not have even imagined um, before the pandemic began. So um, I do hope that our paths cross again in the future. Uh, I think the university would like to um, arrange some opportunities for students to come back to campus when we're all able to do so. So we have the chance to uh, mingle once more, uh, to see each other and uh, hopefully to raise a glass together, which would be nice. So um, all that remains is to say, uh, well done once more uh, and the best of luck in uh, all your endeavors in the future. And I hope to see you all again. Thank you very much. Well done, everyone. You should be extremely proud of all you have achieved over the last four years. And I cannot wait to hear what you achieve next. Congratulations. Hello, everyone. I'm Professor Michael Smith, and I'm here to congratulate all of you for graduating on behalf of the Department of Politics and International Relations. Obviously, this is quite an extraordinary situation that you've endured, which is why we're having to give you our congratulations through this mechanism. However, you should be very proud, not only for completing your studies under these circumstances, but for completing them during a pandemic that was spectacularly mishandled by many governments around the world. And hopefully that lesson alone will demonstrate to you just how important your degrees are in terms of managing human affairs 
and international relations. So unfortunately, we're going to encounter crises like this many times in the future. And so hopefully you will be better prepared for them based on what we've taught you here at the University of Aberdeen. So the world desperately needs your talent and your skills, your energy and enthusiasm. So we're very pleased to help you along your way as you pursue your career and your other life goals beyond the university. So congratulations, everyone. Please stay in touch and please stay healthy. Take care. Bye-bye. Sociology graduates of 2021. As you probably know, my name is Garode Miller and I'm currently serving as head of sociology. But most of you will remember me from first year sociology way back in an apparently much simpler time of on-campus lectures and in-person conversations, otherwise known as 2017, the year that most of you will have started your university education. We couldn't have known then that your final two years in university would be so unexpectedly disrupted or the challenges that each of you was going to have to face. So I wanted to use this congratulations message to note that each of you deserve particular recognition, not only for graduating, but also for overcoming challenges that literally no class before you have had to face. You have had to overcome issues of access and barriers regarding technology. You've had to work more in isolation and so much more independently. And you've had to stay motivated at a time when many of you will have been experiencing increased anxiety and insecurity and certainly stress. But what you should take pride in now is that you have worked hard and persevered against all of these challenges. And your graduation from university is tangible evidence that you have prevailed. You have overcome these challenges and are perhaps as a result more prepared for what comes next in your lives and in your careers after graduation. So congratulations on graduating, but congratulations also on persevering and good luck in facing whatever challenges you take on next. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Dan Padgett and I'm here to say congratulations. Whether you've been taught by me, whether you haven't, if you're graduating this summer, congratulations, massive congratulations. We set high standards here and you've surpassed them. It's a big deal to be graduating after all that study and you should be proud.